Wow! Hey people, what's popping? Kilon Shele, again the name, eh? Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite Achalugo, Dora Gizel, on the microphone. If you are new to my channel, I am Chidera Gizel, a Nigerian lifestyle and fashion vlogger living in Oberi, Imo State. Welcome to my channel. So, guys, I am off to the market. Yay! I'm going to shop for food stuff for the week yeah everything we're going to be eating during the week i'm going to shop for it so i am off to relief markets over and i decided to start the vlog on this note i don't want to start the vlog in my room i'm always starting vlogs in my room so guys if you're not following me on instagram at dera underscore diesel please do go follow me and without further talk talk let us dive right into the business of the day guys i got to the market at this point and the first thing i had to do was to withdraw some cash because i ain't gonna buy stuff with my speed then i had to go to a boiled corn stand like i was so hungry you guys remember i told you i don't buy boiled corn again like i just cook it at home but i was so hungry and i had to buy corn before i faint in the market <laughs> So after getting the chicken, I proceeded to the pepper stand to buy some pepper. You guys, pepper is now expensive. Formerly, if you go to buy pepper from these outside guys, they will just give you like I used to buy only 15 naira pepper and to cook up to two or three meals and to still be left over. But look at what I bought for 200 Then I proceeded to the rice stand and I got a paint of rice. Then I went to this place where they sell different condiments and all of that. I think I got sachet tomato and spaghetti and then i headed to go buy some bell peppers because i wanted to prepare chicken sauce the bell peppers were so so expensive like i wanted to cry but i just had to buy it and i went to get uba so that i'll use it to do some uba gora go ah you guys you guys are going to see it at the end of this vlog i wanted to get smoked titles but it was so expensive like small small fishes not the big ones or the small ones 1000 naira each so i was like you know what i already they got chicken and there's dry fish at home there's crayfish on what you don't do let's just leave smoked fish for today and from there i proceeded to the floor stand to go get some floor you know your babe wants to be doing some kitchen practicals and i got irish potatoes got some pineapples because i was like i need to get fruits like i've been eating without fruits a lot recently so i got some pineapples and i headed to the cucumber stand it's not cucumber cucumber <laughs> I'll be cooking but I actually googled this thing before making this voiceover and I'm still confused <laughs> anyways I decided to get some oranges I got about 300 naira orange and from there I went to the Utazi stand and I got Utazi and that was the end of my market trip hey guys I honestly come in peace I did not come for war I come in peace so it's time for breakfast it's around 11 actually we, we are not just used to eating on time like i grew up with that habit and it's so hard to stop it like i don't if i eat by 7 8 in the morning i'll, I'll feel nauseated like i'll feel it's only a few days that i wake up around 7 8 and i'm hungry but if i eat that early i always feel like i'm going to vomit or something anyways i'm about preparing plantain na uba gorago with special chicken oh god some mouths are gonna water some eyes are gonna be red some eyes are gonna be dripping water but i'm gonna stay wicked so without further talk talk let us dive right into preparing this wonderful day so i'm going to be using all these plantains you can see them i actually just got this bunch of plantain like half bunch of plantain and almost everything is almost ripe like 
it was already showing the sign of getting ripe yesterday but i didn't expect it to already be like this as of as at today anyways the milk is one of those things in life so i'll be boiling it while i prepare the uba sauce and warm the protein i'm going to be using in the uba I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens got will got fight got pride got reason so guys it was while cutting this plantain that I was like yo I'm actually so glad I got this plantain like it was quite expensive but then it had a lot of food inside it's not the ones that you spend a lot of money to buy and at the end of the day there will be nothing inside to so just be skin that will fall everywhere and it was after cutting it that i realized that this pot was too small so i had to turn it into another pot and boil it and i now use the pot to mix the uba sauce so at this point it was time to dissolve the potash this one is not the normal potash that we usually find in the market like it's very scarce it's kind of like a rock so it's hot water that you use to dissolve it so i was pouring in hot water and then i went in with the oil at this point correct Ibo manu correct Ibo oil without any smell so I was going in with the potash at this point if you see all those things that look like particles inside it's not sand it's part of the potash that did not dissolve totally with the hot water and you will taste no sand in your food yeah it's actually very nice potash so at this point you can see that the incha is already forming i don't know what you call it in your own dialects but we call it incha in my own village so the incha already formed and i went in with salt to taste just very very little salt because this thing knows how to pick salt so if you put too much salt you're going to have a bag of salt inside your food and then i went in with a cube of maggi to give it some extra taste and seasoning and i turned it when i was younger in my secondary school when i was in the east and i used to go to the village for holidays and i'll be in the village shop we used to make unkwabi to sell to people during christmas so that was where i learned how to make unkwabi although it has been years since i made unkwabi but this thing i'm making now you can literally call it chicken unkwabi unkwabi but not with cow leg so i was going in with crayfish at this point i love crayfish so much like god crayfish is the best ingredient on earth nobody can tell me otherwise after adding this one i felt it was not enough so i went in with more and more crayfish in fact when i was done with the food i felt that i should have even added more crayfish because crayfish just brings out the taste of everything you put in your food it just gives it that perfect and fine finishing so i tasted it at this point and i realized that it was okay so it was time to go in with my uba I got this uba at 1000 naira like all of this is expensive abi yeah nigeria has changed everything is now very expensive so i gave the uba a good stir i stirred it i turned it very 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 well and at some point i realized that mm, maybe i should add some more uba because the sauce is too i mean the uba is too creamy so i added some more uba in fact i finished the whole uba course i was like let me just finish it before it get spoiled and then it was time to add the chicken i went in with my chicken i know the chicken is small but omo i cannot use too much chicken for just one meal like the other things to use the chicken and do so i added it to the sauce at this point and i gave it the final stir at this point my plantain was already done so i just transferred the uba to the gas so that it will heat a bit yeah it was on the gas for about a minute because i didn't want to overcook it and yay our food is ready like you guys take a look at this food take a look at this yummy goodness like what is all of this i actually made this you guys like i always say i always say it to people that are close to me that if i had a modern kitchen like a very fine modern kitchen all these white kitchens with perfect pots everything there is nothing that would make me not to go into food blogging and food vlogging like i would open a page and be teaching people how to prepare different types of meals would be experimenting different things i would even have an instagram page too like majorly on instagram i would just be making different different dishes because it's just a passion i like to make creative dishes if the dish is boring like if it's the normal conventional nigerian food i'm usually not interested but if it's something interesting i am always 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 interested in making it I actually wish i had a modern kitchen but anyways if you enjoyed this cook with me 
and you want me to make more cook with me's on this channel do let me know because i enjoy filming them like i enjoy filming cook with me's if you have any recipe you want me to try out to experiment do let me know in the comment section and this will bring us to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video do give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel share this video let's move this ministry to the permanent site in what i go and hopefully 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 i'm going to be seeing you in my next video for now bye kiss kiss love you